Good morning. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, in the last class, we discussed about the closed cycle gas turbine, in which the same mass of fuel, uh, sorry, fluid, that is air, circulates again and again after completing all the four processes. And today we will discuss open cycle gas turbine, in which the fluid entering into the system is adjusted to some other system. Then it is called a surrounding. Okay, so this. Air is taken from the atmosphere, which entered into the compressor, and it is compressed. And say this is state one of the cycle. And after compression, definitely some properties changes, and those properties are pressure, temperature, as well as volume. So after compression, the state is say two, state two. So before compression state one, after compression state two, then it enters into the combustion chamber at state two. When it enters into the combustion chamber, then the fuel fuel will enter into the system, and that means this fuel will be burned inside the combustion chamber. So this is internal combustion. Okay, difference with the external combustion or closed cycle is what. The fuel is burned inside the chamber, which is we, which we call the combustion chamber. But we have to supply fuel for that. Now, this fuel, uh, sorry, due to the combustion, the temperature will increase. But what about the pressure? Pressure increase, how many? What is the open cycle or ga uh, any gas turbine cycle? The combustion takes place at constant pressure. The cycle we are discussing is about Brayton cycle. Okay, Brayton cycle is a constant pressure combustion cycle. So uh, that is true for a natural phenomena. It happens if the temperature increases, pressure also tries to increase. But in this case, the pressure will not increase because P is equal to C. So in this situation, A to K sort pressure increase no more. That way, the combustion chamber is designed. Now this is stage three. So at stage three, definitely it will be high temperature burnt gases. Okay, this high temperature burnt gases will enter into the turbine, and where it will pass through some blades. The turbine is a combination of blades that we have discussed in the uh, steam turbine. Same turbine is same principle is same. There will be some fixed blade, moving blade, and so on. So this way, this high temperature, also high pressure, definitely, it will pass through the blades, and as a result, this turbine will rotate this, along the rotor will rotate along with the shaft. Okay, and another part will be fixed that we call the stator, fixed part. Now after, uh, so what is a turbine? This is basically an expansion process. What happened? It the expansion takes place inside the turbine. So after expansion, the temperature will decrease, and definitely expansion means pressure decrease. Pressure will also decrease, and volume will increase because that is the nature of expansion. What is an expansion? Pressure decreases, volume increases, and as well as temperature decreases. So this is state four of the cycle. So this way, this hot burn gases used. The heat is used by the turbine, and whatever heat is Remain in with the gases that will be adjusted to the atmosphere. So this way, the cycle is not closed, open. There is no connection between inlet and outlet. But in case of a closed cycle, what was the thing? This outlet of the turbine was again used as the inlet fluid for the compressor, and in between there was one arrangement that was called the heat exchanger. So this way we get four stages like closed cycle gas turbine. One, two. One, two is what process? Kibo. Compression. Two, three is heat addition. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Heat addition in the combustion chamber by burning fuel. And three, four is expansion in the turbine. And this, in this case, we will get. 
turbine work output in this case we will have to supply work of the turbine and that will be received from the turbine itself wc and here the this process we call heat supply and this exhaust to the atmosphere that means heat is rejected to the atmosphere and these are the processes that happen or input in the compressor heat supplied in the combustion chamber work output in the turbine and heat uh, rejection during the exhaust process so let's see it more clearly how how it happens so fresh air enters state 1 after compression state 2 fuel fuel will enter into the system and there will be combustion and after combustion it will go to the turbine and it will be adjusted to the atmosphere so in the pv diagram we can see process 1 2 is what s equal to c what is s equal to c that means s stands for entropy so entropy remain constant during this process and that is why it is called isentropic compression ideally the process is isentropic but in actual practice the compression may not be isentropic please remember it will uh, will have to take this case in the later classes if what uh, what if the process is not isentropic then what to do okay next as uh, 2 3 is constant pressure we can write p equal to c here constant pressure heat addition q in we call it q s also we can write q in then again process 3 4 is s equal to c that means entropy remain constant that means isentropic expansion from pv diagram we can see that is an expansion process and again 4 to 1 this also takes place at constant pressure p equal to c and this same thing we can see in the ts diagram you see one two is isentropic process in the pv diagram and you can see the ts diagram process one two is isentropic that is why it is a vertical line and s1 is equal to s2 Isent uh, entropy remain constant then two three is constant pressure and this pressure this we call the constant pressure line okay so it is within the constant pressure line suppose this is p2 equal to p3 this line 2 3 and 2 3 extended now uh, this is heat addition and 3 4 is isentropic expansion that is why it will be s3 equal to s4 isentropic expansion and although we are showing 4 1 as a constant pressure heat rejection actually it should be a dotted line because the same fluid is not coming to process 1 but from pressure point of view we can say it is the same line because this is p1 is equal to p4 that means pressure remain constant that is why it is constant pressure heat rejection process okay this is open cycle gas turbine now we want to analyze this cycle like closed cycle gas turbine in closed cycle gas turbine we discussed that efficiency is equal to 1 minus t4 minus t1 divided by t3 minus t2 and that is actually equal to 1 by rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma i think so this was the uh, formula i think so i can't remember it properly let's see what how we can analyze open cycle gas turbine there is slight difference actually almost same but there is slight difference in the approach how we can analyze the open cycle gas turbine now you can tell me uh, process 1 2 huh? or process 1 2 what is the process we can draw the pv diagram also but from this diagram also this is called block diagram schematic diagram and if you draw the pv diagram then it will be like this okay 1 2 3 4 so process 1 2 is what process what type of process so type, tell me process 1 2 is 
isentropic compression so what happen in the isentropic compression is there any heat interaction is there any work interaction manav sir work interaction good excellent so process 1 2 is isentropic compression isentropic means adiabatic compression so in adiabatic compression there is no heat interaction that is the nature of adiabatic process del q equal to 0 but if del q equal to 0 there must be some work interaction that we call wc compressor work and we can also see w 1 2 during the process 1 2 is equal to how much mcpt2 minus t1 because this work done is equal to actually enthalpy drop and enthalpy drop or change in enthalpy equal to mcpt2 minus t1 so that is about process 1 2 now come to process next process is kenoka process 2 3 2 that is a constant pressure heat addition Uh, now definitely heat addition hole amak heat addition to lage there is no work interaction na a combustion chamber kono work na hoy only heat addition hoy aru how much heat is added q s ami bili kom q s equal to also we can say q 2 3 because heat interaction during the process 2 3 kiman hobo again this is a constant pressure heat addition so m cp t3 minus t2 now come to the turbine process is what ekini mo change korim ha just a minute jo class at mo eto pahori gosilu so m what is m mass of the warming fluid working yeah. fluid air humaise ki air humaise gotike cpa that means specific heat of air at constant pressure multiplied by t2 minus t1 similarly in this case heat supplied is equal to kima hobo ma hobo ne baru Good, very good, very good, good. Because now something entered into the system. Although it is a very little amount of fuel, but fuel enters into the system. So you have to add the mass of the fuel also. That we call M F. That means mass is changed slightly. Mass changes. So M A plus M F, we should write. Now C P A. Let him the name here. Actually, it is no more air. If the fuel is combusted, burnt, then this is no more air. Atmospheric air is in the same property, na? So we can call it a gas. That is why M C P G. So what is this? Specific heat of gas at constant pressure. And other temperature will remain same. T three minus T two. Ha? Yeah, that is why we are confused. Say, how do we do it? now uh and this ma plus mf <coughs> ma plus mf this is also called mg so what is mg mass of gas and that is equal to mass of air plus mass of fuel now come to process 3 for no 1 2 3 and Four. So process three four. What is this process? Isentropic. Isentropic. Isentropic expansion process. So this is isentropic expansion process, and for expansion we know turbine work is done. That also we can say W three two four. W three to four and is equal to m. Now we can write directly mg also because already this is ma plus mf. That means mg. That is why 
I have written this equation ma plus mf equal to mg. Also you can write ma plus mf. That way also it is okay. So mg cpg. So it is guess till now it is guess. Temperature difference is T3 minus T4. Good. Next come to process. Which process? 4, 1. Sorry. 4, 1. That to make a hell of a little. 4, 1. Ki hoi? 4, 1 process is constant pressure. Kwa kono by heat. Rejection. Also, although it is rejected to the atmosphere, we have we have to call it a rejection process. From system, it is going out. So for the system, it is heat rejected. We are not concerned where the heat is going. Anyway, heat is rejected uh, by the system. So QR. Also, we can say Q41 is equal to M constant pressure process Mg. CPG T4 minus T1 Work done on the compressor Work done by the turbine Heat supplied to the system in the combustion chamber Heat rejection by the system to the atmosphere so these are the three things we got for open cycle gas turbine. So what is the difference? I got a one course. Look, key difference, boys. Sir, you may notice course, sir. Ah, what? Na plus na sila. Na sila. Actually, I got a key sila. Na to na sila. A to zero sila. I got a key zero sila. Na sila means zero sila. Because kya? System or fuel humay sila dano. System or bahir fuel burn hai se. System or to fuel humo na se le. External heat engine bolii koi se le naayami. Bahir or kiva burn kori heat add kori se. So there was no entry of fuel inside the system. Because that was not combustion chamber. That was heater. And for heating you can use any heat source. You can burn fuel. You can do it some other way also. If this, uh, you have the availability to that type of system. The burning takes place outside, but heat is transferred by conduction, convection, on any other mode. But heat is transferred to the system, but fuel does not enter into the system. And that is the difference. That means there was no MG, only MA, MA, MA. In all the cases, it will be MA. Similarly, in this case, it is CPA, CPG, CPG, and CPG because after compression, the air become gas because of the burning within the system. And that is the difference. Otherwise, it is same. Now, efficiency, how we will find out efficiency of open cycle, huh? Open cycle. Can I get it, mommy? Simple kata WS minus W R sorry Q S heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied and that is equal to 1 minus Q R divided by Q S. You can put the values of Q R and Q S. Otherwise we can say what is W net. So what is this Q R minus Q S minus Q R means that is W net net work done by the system. Other way we can say W net is equal to W T minus W C. Whenever whole cycle lot work do jagat kori se at a whole compressor of or what hunt turbine not. But compressor work is expenditure. That means system or work system of work whom I say that is expenditure we say or turbine work is income. So income minus expenditure that we call net. And that is the W net, net work output is equal to turbine work output minus compressor. That we can put the values. What is WT? I mean, keep it look. MG, CPG, T3 minus T, sorry, T3 minus T4, 
minus what is WC MA CPA T2 minus TA. So, yet to have me I will simplify for you, no arrow it. W net to have me a Oh, MG CPG T4 minus T1 minus MA plus NF CPG T2 minus T2. MG CPG T3 minus T2. I don't know, it way. Heat supply, it way. WR to one, I'm going heat supply to produce a lot of what is the mass of fuel? Mf uh, mg equal to what? Mg equal to Ma plus Mf. Mf equal to what? Kibuli kusu mass of fuel per kg of mass of fuel. Huh? Mass of fuel consumed per unit time. Now what is Ma? Ma equal to mass of air per kg of fuel one kg fuel lot kiman air lage that is called ma then qs is equal to is equal to mf multiplied by cv available so the ms cv is Calorific value of fuel that I am zano, then QS heat supply is equal to MF into CV. So this equation is all can also be used to find the heat supply in case of a open cycle gas turbine. So we get MF into CV is equal to MA plus MF into CPG T2 minus sorry T3 minus T2 so out of this any equation can be used so this is problem of mass of fuel or calorific value then you use this equation okay then you can use this equation but heavy like that is the CPG temperature temperature jana at mass of air mass of fuel jana then you can use this equation MA divided by MF. It will keep going. MA divided by MF, air fuel ratio. Huh? Then I see in the not air, uh, reciprocating I see in the not air fuel ratio to amid horizontal. So in this case also, we may have to use air fuel ratio. MA is to MF. Air fuel ratio. A, F, R. W net divided by W T. What is W net? W T minus W C divided by W T. Net work output divided by turbine work output. Atmospheric temperature uh, temperature is equal to 27 degree. Huh? As equal to 37 degree, so 27 degree. Also. And atmospheric pressure is equal to say one highest temperature and pressure my open cycle now yeah? close cycle or close, close cycle gas turbine highest temperature and pressure are 727 degrees centigrade and 4 bar good day cycle to what I say Atmospheric temperature and pressure dia se, highest temperature and pressure dia se, you find the efficiency of the cycle. A cycle to efficiency. Eto cycle na hoa, more yet ase karne ko so, eto na hoa gido, close cycle gas turbine. So for that, you draw one TS diagram. That is enough. You need not draw any PV diagram for solving this type of problem. Okay. So what is TS diagram? You write T and s so this is constant pressure line p2 is equal to p4 because this is 1 2 so this is p1 equal to p4 that's 2 3 3 and this is 4 
So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1. These are the processes. Now we need temperature. Among all temperature will act like a cost of oil. T1 number is what is T1? T1 equal to 27 degrees centigrade. Kelvin not given 300 Kelvin. P1 number is 1 bar. T3 is T2 to 98. T3 is 727 degrees centigrade. It will be equal to what? Yes. 1000 Kelvin. P4 dia se, P2 actually, P2 equal to P4. P1 means P1 equal to P3. Here you can diagram to amak lage. Is equal to 4 bar. Problem to amak lage solve for him. Amak into temperature T2, temperature T3. To dia se, temperature T4 to amak lage wo. So, 1 to 2 key process. Funkale phata phat kwa kuna bhai? 1 to 2 key process. The isentropic compression. So we can apply the isentropic law to the process 1, 2. And what is isentropic law? That we discussed in the fourth semester thermodynamics classes. No? So what is the law? For process 2, 3, you can write T2 by T1 equal to P2 divided by P1 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So uh, that is equal to. Uh, P2 by P1 equal to 4 by 1. Gamma. Now we can assume the value of gamma equal to 1.4. Huh? Sometimes you have to assume the value of gamma. And also the value of Cp. Cp equal to say 1 kilojoule per kg per Kelvin. And Cv equal to 0 0.72 kilojoule per kg per Kelvin. I will have any value to make a huh? I will short the short for you. Actually, 718 is the same. I will CP equal to 1 and CP equal to 0.72. Gamma equal to 1.4 for atmospheric air. So, it will be what? 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4. So, this is equal to 4 to the power 0 0.286 approximately. How much do you do? How much do you do? So that is equal to 1.486. So what is temperature T2? T2 is equal to T1 is 300. 300 multiplied by 1.486. Right? 446 Kelvin. Huh? Temperature palo. I mean approximate value that is almost actually 446 I have a value. So, I mean, keep a look at okay? temperature T1 to dia asile, temperature T2 to palo, temperature T3 already given. Now, we do not know temperature of T4. T4 to amina mean, no. So, what is T4? T4 by T3 is equal to P4 by P3 all to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. And that is equal to what is P4? P4 equal to P1 by P2, P3 equal to P2, that is equal to 0 0.286, so this is equal to 1 divided by 4 to the power 0 0.286, to my power to my okay? T4 equal to kiman hobo, T4 is equal to T3, sorry, 1000 T3 divided by 4 to the power 0.286 Correction ke man hoi? 672.68 7 or so 7 Kelvin T1 is equal to dia set 300 Kelvin T2 ami pa logo hai 446 Kelvin T3 is given as the highest temperature which is equal to 1000 Kelvin and T4 equal to 672.7 672.7 and Kelvin. So these are the values of temperature. I mean look at Cp equal to Kiman. Cp A actually Cp equal to 1 kilojoule per kg per Kelvin. That value you should know, huh? Value for air. 
and CVA is equal to 0.72 kilojoule per kg per Kelvin and gamma equal to already we did this. Now you can find out what? Anything you can find out. If you need WC, WC formula key is like what? Good. M C P A T two minus T one. Now what is M A? M A key. So nothing is given. So you put value of one. That means per unit air consumption. One for one. Ekuna ekuna. Now C P A equal to one. Uh, one again. And temperature difference. What is that? Four. 46 minus 300. Kiman hobo ito? Kilo joule hobo ha? Per second hobo pade unit or report depend kore ba. Now, QS kiman? MA CPA because it will remain air. T3 minus T2. Hobo? So, put the values and you will get the results. M is anu, M C P A we know, T T T two everything we know, W T turbine work man, M A C P A T three minus T four. So this case also you put the values and get what is W T. Then W R you can find out similarly. So this way you can find out any value you need. And after that, if you need to find the efficiency you find out w net divided by qs because you know w net what is w net w net equal to wt minus wc or you can say ws minus wr and qs you, you will get also you can find out work ratio wr equal to w net divided by w t so if you find out the temperatures, four temperatures, then you will get everything. Anything you can calculate. Huh? So what are the requirements? Temperature T1, temperature T2, temperature T3, and temperature T4. At the same time, we need to know MA if there is any mass involved. If nothing is given, then it will be per unit mass or in with air and we need to know the value of CP, CV and gamma definitely because in the formula we have to use gamma sometimes. So this way you can solve the problem and 